What's up YouTube? My name is Kenny J, the insurance guru, and this is Kenny J TV. Welcome to Kenny J TV. If you are a first time viewer, feel free to browse around and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell for my latest notification. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to Kenny J TV. And also, welcome back to another video and the tips on how to pass the insurance state exam series. In this video, we're going to be talking about, it's a, a more broad video of how to pass the life insurance state exam. Of course, I'll do other videos that go more in depth about the life insurance state exam, but I wanted to do a broad video. I was going through my content the other day and realized I never did a how to pass the life insurance state exam. So here we go, episode three of tips on how to pass the insurance state exam series, how to pass the life insurance state exam. The first tip I have for you is don't try to learn everything. This is going to be a tip that I say in every video for passing the insurance state exam. It's nearly impossible. I know when I first started and I was going through my exam, I'm like, I have to know everything. I was writing down every word, every sentence, every definition. And I was like, this is impossible. There's no way that people have come before me and pass this test knowing everything that this book has to offer. Then I realized that that is not how to pass the insurance state exam because it is too much information for you to know every little thing. So take the main things. I know with Kaplan, I love using Kaplan and this is not a paid advertisement, but Kaplan has been such a great program for me when I took my insurance state exam because at the end of each chapter, they had something called a cram sheet, which was the main things that you needed to know from the chapters and that is how I made my flashcards. I highly recommend using flashcards. I took them everywhere. Yes, Quizlet is cool. It's pretty much the electronic version of flashcards, but I wanted to use physical flashcards, take it back to grade school and it was very, very helpful. Another tip I have for you is take your time studying. I've heard so much since I've been on my YouTube journey as an insurance professional, they say, oh, I just got this job and they told me I have three days to pass the exam. A lot of these agencies are giving you unrealistic expectations because they need you licensed in order to make them money. But what I did was I took the exam before I even had an insurance job because I wanted to take my time. And when you don't have that pressure of getting it in five days, three days, two days, you perform a lot better. It gives you time to breathe, relax, and take your time. Because if you try to cram all of this information in from the exam, you're not gonna do well. You're gonna stress and you're going to crack under pressure. So take your time. I highly recommend you getting your insurance license or start to study before you even apply for these jobs. Because once you get the job, this is when they're setting those unrealistic expectations. Regarding the life insurance concepts and terms, know the different types of life insurance policies. There's whole life, there's term, there's universal life, and the list goes on. And you need to know the different types of life insurance policies. They may ask a question and it may be like, Sally went to XYZ, what type of life insurance policy does she need? You have to know the difference. So what I did was I made flashcards and put the main key points from each policy. Of course, not word for word the definition because my brain does not retain these definitions word for word. It's just a lot of information. So I put the key points, things that would make me understand and remember these definitions. And I would relate it to things that I know, related to things in my life, and it helped me a lot. So I encourage you to do the same when you are differentiating these life insurance policies. Understand the riders as well. A good example of a rider would be waiver of premium, disability riders, you have term riders, and the list goes on. I had a lot of questions on my exam about different riders 
who would need what or who is eligible for what rider and how do they work. So know the different riders. It is very important to take time, go through them. In my opinion, they weren't hard to learn. It was just taking the time out to learn them and understand where they would go. And also when you are in the real world and you're doing insurance for different clients, you want to be able to understand what these riders mean and how they can benefit your clients. So if you're just memorizing the riders and saying, okay, this rider means this, this rider means that, and you get in front of a client, you're not going to really know what will best suit them. So learn these riders and see how you can apply that to a client when you get your insurance license. Also, there are a lot of terms in the insurance state exam and they are very important to know. Some examples are the difference between primary beneficiary and contingent beneficiary. It is a big difference and you want to make sure that you understand these terms because when you get on that exam, it's literally, this, they're both beneficiaries, but one plays a different role than the other. So you want to make sure that you're understanding what these terms are. So when they put it in a real life situation, you know exactly what it means. A big one that I don't usually talk about and people don't really ask about are annuities. So with your life insurance license, you are able to write certain types of annuities and that was a nice portion of my exam as well. So you wanna look at the terms under the annuity section. Don't skip past the annuities because you think it's not on your exam. Look and read and understand the concepts in that chapter because it is in there for a reason. And I was honestly shocked at the amount of information or the amount of questions that I've had in my exam from the annuity section. So you want to make sure that you understand that even if you don't ever plan on writing annuities, you need to understand what they are, the different types of annuities and the terminology that they use for them. I cannot emphasize this enough. Study, study, study your state regulation. Of course, the state regulations differ by state, of course, but you want to make sure that you understand the regulation. So for me, if I remember correctly, my life insurance exam was 60 questions. 45 was actual life insurance information and questions, and the last 15 were straight from the regulations. I had a cheat sheet, and again, this is why I love well, let me rewind. I had a cheat sheet to study off of, not in the actual exam, but I had this sheet that Kaplan provided for me. And I was studying that after I would study the actual insurance information about the commissioner cancellation and things like that. And it really helped me out. And then I remember before I even walked into the testing center, I had that sheet and I read over it one more time. And it helped me tremendously because a lot of those terms and the information on that cram sheet or on that regulation sheet was exactly on the exam and for the most part with the regulations it's not concept based they're mainly asking you the question who is the state commissioner and things like that so you want to make sure that you understand and memorize what the regulations are because that will be word for word what is on the exam and like I said before, a lot of the life insurance exam is concept based. So a lot of what if questions or when would this policy be the most beneficial? So you want to make sure that you understand the concept. It's not about memorizing. In college, a lot of people say, oh, I memorize this or I memorize that when they book these calls with me and I tell them, listen, it is not the same when you get this exam. It is concept based. So you have to understand what this information is saying, because if you don't, you are in for a rude awakening. And also trust yourself. You put over 20 hours of studying in for this exam. So trust your instinct. Do not go back and be like, oh, maybe it's this and maybe it's that. That is how they trick a lot of people. Make sure that you are confident in your answer and do not second guess yourself. The first answer that you put, keep it unless you are 110% sure that the other answer that you want to choose is correct because I've heard where people are like, I changed my answer, then I failed by one point, and I'm like, it's probably because you changed that answer. Trust your gut, you are smart, you got this, and you will pass this life insurance state exam. And lastly, as I say in every how to pass the insurance state exam video, 
Take breaks, allow your brain to breathe, allow your brain to take in and comprehend the information. You can't allow your brain to go, 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 go and never take a break. That's like driving a car and never putting gas in it or never checking the oil. The car is going to eventually stop and you don't want your brain to overload and be like, what is even going on? So allow your brain to take breaks. And that is the overview of how to pass the life insurance state exam. What are some things, if you've already taken the life insurance state exam, what are some things that you saw on the exam that I did not name? And if you are taking the life insurance exam, what are you most nervous about? Or what are you looking forward to to see on the test if you're studying? And how is your study experience going? For me, I enjoyed studying. It was the middle of summer. I used to sit on my patio and just study. It was, it was really a vibe and I really enjoyed it. And so how is your study experience going? Make sure you're in a comfortable area. You're not hungry, you're not sleepy, because if you are, your brain is gonna be going elsewhere. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell for my latest notification. We are dropping a video every week. Again, my name is Kenny J, the insurance guru, and this is Kenny J TV.